week's developer Q&A. You had no idea what we just said, so we're going to say it again. I am Mod James, as ever, your host today, and we have some familiar faces back. Start with you, you were here uh, last yeah. week. Mod Kelpie, Lean Ninja, Project Manager. Uh, Mod Pi, Combat Developer, Ninja, Game Engine Developer. Mod Stu, Content Developer, Guardian, made some dragons recently. Yeah, we're going to be having a look at those today, which is pretty awesome. Uh, you haven't been here for a while, Mod Stu. Yeah, I've been off for three weeks in America, getting a bit of a tan. <laughs> yeah. I wish that was me. <laughs> yeah. We've got the Pi Pad as well back, because yeah. uh, you're back with the Pi Pad. F with very unique branding, not stolen <laughs> from anything ever. <laughs> there we go. Anyway, we're going to jump straight into the questions this week. But um, one thing we do have is a teaser of the Addy and Runite Dragons, which I don't know if we've are we given a release date or anything of those? Are we going to? Or are we just saying it's in the future? It's soon. June. Oh, it's in the, it was in the behind the scenes, so sometime yeah. in June. But we have a little teaser today from that Mod Studio will give us, which we'll have a look at later. We're not going to show off too much, but it will be pretty cool, won't it? Hopefully. Yeah. We'll see. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to jump off first off with a less serious icebreaker question like we usually do. And it comes from Iron Rubik. He's good with these kind of questions every week. Well, um, which area of RuneScape would you personally like to see graphically updated? Don't all go at once. <laughs> <laughs> Probably Yanil. It's so yeah, old. It's quite old, isn't it? You know. Yeah, no, or see, it's that kind of area, like the, the, the first kind of member areas that are just like really old. Kromjol needs some serious love. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, it definitely mm -hmm. does. I uh, actually asked our graphics member in the Ninja team today what he would like. Um, and he mentioned uh, the monastery, Edgeville Monastery. Um, and the reason being that he's, we've got some concept art for it that he's that he thought was really cool. So I dug that out and that we actually do have it with us. There you go, it's, on, it's on screen right now. Um, so do the, the viewers cool. can see it on screen right now. There yeah, I mean, this is, this is something that was done like a year or two ago. Um, it's not something we're definitely gonna do. Uh, so I should say that, but um, it's something we possibly could do. You, I did take a little look um, around the area today and obviously like Edgeville was not like fantastic, but it's kind of good enough the standard is good enough compared to... Well, it's got the burnt patches as originally yeah. the yeah. where got Yeah, like I mean, like when it, it kind of got done up a little bit at that <laughs> time, I believe. And then Lagbill. we've got like the Black Knight's Fortress, um, which looks really cool. And so you, in between this, you kind of got the monastery, which is um, looking pretty old. So yeah, um, I, I'm not sure if this concept's been shown before or something, but that's kind of the monastery and stuff. So, so that's yeah. it. I think I think the image has been changed. The wall you can see down in front of the wall now. Yeah. Has a Sar obviously it's a Saradoman monastery with mm -hmm. all the hashtag stop Saradoman stuff going around. Me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the the difference here is that it kind of it changes the footprint slightly. Um, you it's not something you can walk through. It's kind of an L shaped the buildings that time. So yeah, I mean we'll, we'll check the chat. We'll see what people's feedback is of it, of it and stuff. And you know, it's possibly something we'll do in the future as part of the yeah, ninja they did bring it up. You have to retain the cabbage patch. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay, that's definitely in there. Don't worry. I was worried for a moment there. Do you yeah. think there's anything else there that they'd be upset about? Yeah, I remember when I did the Death of Chivalry quest uh, because the monastery itself didn't look so good. We uh, started the quest in the cabbage patch, which looked look slightly better, which is why <laughs> Sarah Dermond blows my cabbage patch at the beginning. And it has the rose bushes there as well, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So like, <laughs> you know, you have to go there for several quests. There's other things. The garden tranquility is one of them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so obviously, we need to make sure those all work. But I did speak to one of our QA testers as well today and asked him, if we did rework this, how like would you be happy testing this? Would it be too much of a problem? And he seems to think it'd be fine. So it's a possibility for the future. All right, yeah, so we'll just make sure that's well noted that it is a possibility for the future. It's an old concept art, but could be done as a part of the new expanding ninja team. So. Yeah, 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 it's a possibility. And while we're on that topic, do you want to mention anything about the Falador rework? So we brought that up a few weeks ago. Anything we've decided um, to do with that? Are we? Well, I mean, it's it's something that I think we said at the time. You know, it's a it's a project that the QA team are kind of like um, all working on in when they spare time. In their, yeah, and they're kind of downtime. Um, I believe one of the teams is looking at you. Know, they've got some. You've got like a week or two where the QA guys have got not much on, so they're going to try and take a chunk out of it and stuff. So that might kind of move it along somewhat, but, and we'll see how it goes, sort of thing. Once I imagine, once we get to that like that end period where there's not much left you know, will dig out the time somewhere to just finish it off and get it out there um, and then finally I guess I never answered the original question which again just in case you've just joined and came in from Iron Rubik of which area of RuneScape would you personally like to see graphically developed or graphically updated and 
I think I'd probably go with you to be honest, uh, Yanil, or maybe White Wolf Mountain. Because like the Tavoli side, yeah, done, White Wolf Mountain is pretty. That could, that could uh, look really, really cool. Yeah, like with the newer graphics we like have these days, <laughs> they get a bit cooler. Um, are you on to some some different questions? For a general question coming from a lucky wish. Do you guys plan on developing an underwater city in the future? I guess we'll go with Stu this one. Do you have any thoughts on that? Um, it's something we'd like to do in the future. There's potential ties into the, 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 the Pirate series or some kind of an underwater Atlantis area to explore, but um, nothing we currently are in, working on, maybe sometime in the, in the future. I guess yeah. any... No, well, no immediate plans or anything at this time. It'd be cool, though. Yeah, it would definitely be cool. Would you want to do like a skilling hub there? Just trying to think of the different. Oh, the underwater different skilling. <laughs> Just trying to think of the different like things you. Because obviously, every, as soon as everything becomes underwater, you could do a lot more. It could time with the port skill in some way, or you know, the port Chop skill down the ports, mini game. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I think also the fact that you know, it's a city and not just an underwater area, it kind of puts us off, off a little bit. You know, we've done a big city recently. You know, it's not city areas. It's not something that we particularly want to do new content for at this time, really. And this is another one that potentially is going to you, Stu, as more of a law specialist. It's coming in from Uriel. How is Siliski not a god yet? As far as, you, as far as we know, you can only become a god either by slaying one or owning an elder artifact. He has two artifacts and has slain Guthics. Uh, Spoilers. Well, <laughs> uh, I'm not going to answer that on stream, but um, you can really find out about that by talking to Siliski after, after uh, one of our more recent quests. So finish up a few quests, talk to Siliski after the quest. There you go. take care of it. Um, Dank Light, coming the question. <laughs> yes. Not going to mod so any for now. Okay. When we will see more lore slash content revolving around the Raptor, there's currently so much mystery around him. So you see him around RuneScape infrequently, but it's it's a know. possibility i wouldn't say I, I don't think we'll see much or or any of them this year but maybe next year potentially yeah is he one of the, he's one of the signature heroes isn't he yeah, yeah. yeah. so i think mean, there was kind of a few quests of the quest series of the signature heroes with diamond in the rough with ozone and stuff but then it kind of it, the fizzled last, out the last of time we saw him was the qbd quest song from the depths yeah 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 mm -hmm. i feel like we kind of went there was a lot of stuff around the signature heroes, and then it kind of dropped, and then we've gone up more with like the gods and the sixth age now, mm -hmm. kind of. So. I think we might see the signature heroes feature again fairly soon. Right. Fair enough, I, I do. Lo I do love the raptors, and as you, you know, the raptor teleports about and does slayer tasks and things. One of my friends was doing a lesser demon task, then all of a sudden, like whilst he was doing this demon task, the raptor just kept on stealing his slayer kills. <laughs> <laughs> it's just amazing. For those who don't know, I'm pretty sure the raptor is the background image of the RuneScape uh, image on Twitch. So that's what. Yeah. Also, the Ventures log. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's what the uh, the raptor looks like. If you don't know, anyway, we do have questions um, from Twitter as well. The Twitter hashtag is, if I'm not mistaken, at rsdevqa. Look for a nod. At RSDevQA. I mean uh, hashtag. Hashtag, yeah. hashtag RSDevQA. <laughs> it's normally at the bottom, so I can Elder just read Twitch, it. Man. But it's not the bottom today. Not Twitch. Twitter. Okay, so the first one up from Twitter <laughs> comes from Red Zoli, asking, will we ever get dragon dragons? Well, the update I worked on was for Adamant and Rune Dragons. Obviously, that's out of scope for current projects, but maybe in the future. It would have to be a, a, a Rune Labs thing, wouldn't it? Yeah, I mean, we could see them. I don't think we immediately want to add them. You, you obviously want people to use Adian Rune Dragons for the time being and then you know, maybe some point in the future you, we will we push on to the next dragon tier. I think you have to wear the body body to kill them. <laughs> <laughs> at the moment the metal dragons align to the smithing tiers and that ends at rune so I think if we happen to introduce dragon bars and actually dragon smithing then maybe we'd have the dragon associated with it but probably unlikely otherwise. Fair enough. The uh, like I was convinced as soon as we had Adi and Rune Dragons win the first Rune Labs vote, I was convinced the next month it was going to be Rune like Dragon Dragons were going to come. Like <laughs> we did, we did see like suggestions for it, but yeah. it didn't get voted up enough. That's fair enough. Uh, next question coming in from Mike Music Fan asking, can we have slash purchase the ability to store the Grim Gem on our Slayer helmet? So that's obviously the um, it's a piece of ninja content. The Mm. Def the Reaper assignment, Reaper assignments. It's doable, but knowing the the pain it was putting the other 
like the, ring, like, like the QA would stuff. probably kill us. <laughs> like you, you guys don't know, but there's actually something like 120 separate configs for Slayer Helms, depending on what you have on the haven't done to it, and that number would double again. And you still charge Slayer Helms with scrolls? I think no. I that? think. I feel no, like you can still get enchanted, point. but Chris changed it when he did the summoning rework. So you put the scrolls oh, in the familiar that was now. It, of course, but I, I remember think now. the enchanted That's why helmets do actually somewhere. do something. I can't remember what they do now, though. Okay, fair enough. Um, we have another one here, which we've got to do a straw poll for as well. Uh, it's coming from the Real Remix, saying, "Can we add an agility shortcut north of Shilo?" Now, this is something that came up on Reddit last week. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. it came End up on Reddit, week. and there was yeah. quite a lot of. Com discussions about it because basically just because of nat running so adding that alone would basically make nat running a bit more efficient unless you're using I think it's a Garak or, or if, if, you, if you're high summoning yeah, level yeah. and you use the Garak then it's, it would obviously be faster it's in faster, theory yeah. the abyss should be faster than that because I don't think what you do at the minute is you can trade yeah, the stuff at the shop just about you but you can obviously get to the yeah. bank now instead so what are the options we're going to put on this poll um, so we were discussing it and one of them is just allow it so yes yeah, to the, fir a the first two options are, are, like, are, are going to be obvious, yes and no. But whilst we were discussing it, we discussed, like, what if we make it only one way so you can only get into Shilo from there, so you can't use it as a running method. Which I imagine is what people would have suggested it for. Yeah. So you can teleport to the Cramja Lodestone and run down. I don't know why you wouldn't want to run up to the, uh, the cart. Is it Hades? Is it? No, it's not Hades. There's a cart yeah, yeah, I I see in, in Brimhaven that. that would take that's you straight down way, there. Yeah. But um, so that straw poll will be in the chat, so keep an eye out for that one. Um, you should see it in a second, but feel free to vote in that, and we'll come back to it in a minute or two's time after a, yes. another question or two. All right, next one coming from Cloudless Sky. Will we ever see different types of wyverns added into the game? Um, uh, actually, I believe we're on Rune Labs. We're currently doing high-level mobs. That's the criteria. I do believe there are wyverns on there, like some people have suggested them, um, some different versions. Oh, so see, it's the only ones that are the skeletal, skeletal ones? Yeah. So I guess that's it, isn't it? I can't think of anything else that was in a quest or anything. Only skeletal mm. wyverns I can think of. So yeah, I think the suggestion is for like living ones, non-skeletal. Um, so yeah, I mean, if that gets voted in, um, then yes. Um, bar that, we don't have any other current plans for them, I don't believe. That could be really interesting with a shield as well. Like we could, if you made it a bit higher level, you could bring back the idea of a shield. You used to obviously use the dragonfire shield, the elemental shield, anything like that. Yeah. So, could bring back a bit more shield use, maybe. Yeah. If you had those in there. Actually, yeah. Um, the straw poll link is now in the chat, guys. So feel free to make sure you vote in that straw poll, and we'll come back to it after this question. So from Marius Verus, will the upcoming vampire quest finally reveal who or what is trapped inside the coffin in the Patadermis temple? As far as I know, that's not being revealed in this quest. Fair enough. There you go. No. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I'm trying to think that it's a long time since... Is that in the Priest in Peril quest, when you first go up there and see who's in that coffin? Can't remember. I think it's Priest in Peril. <laughs> so it was a long time yeah. ago. At the top remember. of the temple, isn't it? Yeah. Doesn't he... Th I saw he throws a skull at you or something. I can't remember. <laughs> Probably thinking of something else crazy. Anyway, do we have the results to the straw poll? Yeah, it's still going. So, oh, it's still, still going. going. All right. So... Oh, we have a thousand votes in so far, though, and the predominant answer is yes, with no coming last. So, yes, then, yes, with a one way from Shilo through, oh, so far in, into Shilo, the one way. Yeah. So, what would you deduct from that? What would you want to do? I think I preferred, after the ninja, the ninja discussion um, this Monday, I think our preferred option was the one way. The, the one it? way, so you're only allowed to go in. That was what way. we personally preferred, wasn't it? Yeah. The one yeah. way option. Um, so the fact that there's most people are saying yes, um, yeah, that's good, that's encouraging. Um, but yeah, we will need to have another conversation about it just to confirm what we want to do. But I'm, yeah. I personally am leaning towards yes, one way. Fair enough. But it looks like <laughs> something. It looks like something that they might they might see in the game. Then is it is it mm -hmm. Shiloh or Shiloh? There's a oh, the everyone on. everyone moans at me for this <laughs> whenever I say it. Shiloh, Shiloh. Pretty sure it's Shiloh. 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 Okay. Damn you. <laughs> okay, I'm wrong, guys. I'm <laughs> wrong. It's Shiloh Village. <laughs> Shiloh always sounds, sounds, like, sounds like a Pokemon to me. 
Ardoon. I'm still not. I'm st- Ardoin. <laughs> I'm not giving in. It's Ardoon. <laughs> I refuse. I refuse to give in. Just call it Ardoon. Everyone does. And the thing is, oh, everyone says as everyone says, but in the uh, pronunciation guide, it's down as Ardoin, but Glacor is down as Glacor in the not pronunciation anymore. guide. Not anymore. I fixed that one. So in theory, Ardoon <laughs> no. could still be on the card. I fixed Glacor. <laughs> Okay, anyway, we have one from, um, I think this one's from Twitter, from the hashtag RSDevQA. It comes in from SweetTac, and it says, mainly for at JagXStew, what's your thoughts on adding more individual choices in quests, like Fate of the Gods, instead of world events? Um, are we going to read the rest? Oh, yeah, we're a lot of lore hounds who wish the game's storyline to be more interactive, and wish the game's storyline to be more interactive, and to go in, in our own way. Yeah, well, with um, particularly Sixth Age quests, our intention is to give the, the players choices, um, being able to tailor their experience. With something we've experimented with over time, we found that players don't tend to like anything that involves any kind of a mechanical divergence. So, like, they wanted to like choose one w- reward or, or another. If there's any choice involved, they would want it to be something that um, only affects their uh, perception of a, of, a, of a character. And even then, sometimes they don't like the fact that suddenly this one character doesn't like them anymore. They want some, some way to reverse it afterwards and. Um, it can wind up being quite expensive with just all the different tracking that needs, needs to be done. Um, so certainly we're all for it. Um, I guess more of a question is where would you like to see divergent choices? What, what, would, what choices would you like to I make in future content? Down, down to the players then, what they would like to see in terms of divergent choices in quests. Because we put a lot of them there in there, but um, some, some of them uh, pe- people really respond to and some of them they hardly notice. So where would mm-hmm. the biggest impact be? There are, there are a few from older quests, aren't there? There's a, is, it, is it a Zamrock follower within Ardun somewhere where you can decide to kill him or leave him? I can't remember exactly. I'm not, I'm not as big on the lore. Then there's, um, can't you kill, can't, with, when you're with Zanik, can't you just, kill, just choose to kill or leave someone alive? There's a few of those small ones. But in the Mighty Four, yeah. yeah, yeah. The you can choose to kill Zanik. <laughs> the, I guess the problem lies is then where do you go from quests and the f- continuation of the storyline? Of yeah, if, I mean, if characters are alive for some players and not alive for others, mm-hmm. then what happens? Yeah, there? it means more development work, really. So, <laughs> has he um, <laughs> what? It's the, it's, it's has he yeah, Can't I thought worry. that's what you meant. Yeah. <laughs> right. But yeah, um, like you, if you have more choices, then there's more, more branches the players can go down, then there's more development work to put into that. Um, so that's one of the problems with doing it. With Haziel, is Haziel a Zamorakian follower? He's a Majora, isn't he? He's a Majora. He's a Majora. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. I do know something. <laughs> <laughs> so have you done any quests where you've done many divergent paths before? Um, yeah, I would say that uh, Death of Chivalry in particular, uh, I mean, we, you had choices where we were deciding whether you got one cutscene or a diff- different one, or um, whether you gave the, the one to Saradon willingly, or whether you bl- lost you with magic, and it affected the entire cutscene afterwards, all this, this conversation dialogue. Um, it does have quite a big impact on the, on the size of, of the, the content if, if we're trying to give you a, a decent um, consequences to choices that you're making. So it's something we need to be careful about. Fair enough. There's something hollow in the chat, but it kind of went past, so I'm not sure. I was getting pointed at it, but I'm yeah, going to ignore that and just move on for now. Um, another question coming from Autumn Elite. Can you reveal what team will be working on the high-level mob Rune Labs ideas in next month's competition? Yeah, so that was the one I was just talking about. Um, with the wyverns. Yeah, with yeah. All th- that question. Um, so that is the Dukes team. Um, so that's Mod Liam who heads up that team. Um, for those who don't know, um, it was Mod Tim. Um, who have bought you things like Broken Home, Zamrak Heist, to yeah. um, so that team. Yeah, so yeah. and then like uh, Mod Tim's still with the team. He moved to another area and stuff, and Mod Liam took over. Um, so yeah, that, that team's working on that one. Do you want to give a quick update to Rune Labs of where that's at exactly? Yeah, so I mean, like that, the, the high level mobs one, that's the current criteria. Um, and so that's ongoing at the moment. Um, there's some pretty cool ideas for new mon- monsters there. We're not interested in rewards. We saw the um, desert the desert monsters, didn't we? Things like that with the crocodile yeah, yeah, men yeah. and things. Yeah, so. there was some stuff like that. Um, I can't quite remember what's winning at the moment. But, um, yeah, there's some really cool ideas there. We're not, as I said, not looking for rewards sort of thing. So yeah, that's ongoing and that will go on to the end of the month, really. Okay. Last Tuesday of the month. Um, anyway, one thing we are going to be doing this stream, which we'll do right now, we will be doing in a few minutes, is the small teaser of Adamant and Runite Dragons, which yourself must do, having been working on over the last few months. So I'm going to send you away okay. uh, off the thing. I'm going to ask one more question, and then I'm going to join Modstu as well, um, and we're going to show a quick teaser of the Adamant and Rune Dragons. So another question coming in for you guys. 
JB11, any news on where we stand with Boss Pet Override? Something developed by the Ninja team at the very start this year? Uh, Boss Pets, yeah. Yeah. Um, Boss Pets, but the, we aren't the ones doing the override stuff. That's, uh, that's another team. Um, so I believe it's a big animation. That, um, that was our reason for not yeah. doing it in the first place, wasn't mm -hmm. it? Anim animations of every single boss. Yeah, because you've got to create like attacks and stuff for them. So you know, for them, it's, you know, it's a big animation um, time. And you know, because it's all animation and little dev, you know, the devs move on with other projects and stuff, which may cause a bit of animation work and stuff. And so it's, it's kind of like the Falador rework almost, where it's you, know, it's for this time, it's the animation team. And they keep on pitching in when they can with the project and moving it forwards when they can. But everything else kind of takes a bit more of a priority sort of thing, so. Sadly, it's not just a case of grabbing the bosses' versions of the attacks, because when we made the boss pets, we not only stri like shrunk them, but we stripped them down in terms of polys, and like the skeleton that they're using is completely different from the, the animation skeleton that the boss is using. Okay, so it, so it, it really is just a create attacks from scratch kind of thing, or mimic the boss attacks. But the, obviously mimic them, but yeah. have to be reanimated with they're a new yeah, skeleton. Yeah, animating from scratch. Okay, so I guess the ultimate answer is, where do we stand on it? Just it's ticking along. Yeah, it's ticking along. I can't give a date or anything for it. But not by the Ninja team, though. So. It's not. Yeah, no. we're not working on it. We don't even have an animator. Anymore. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah, we've got one graphics member, and he's an environmental artist, and he's not even helping us at the moment. He's helping out with raids. So oh, I don't know if you're gonna say it because yeah. yeah, I've no, seen some yeah. of the stuff and it looks cool. It's good. Yeah, no, the stuff he's working on is pretty badass. Anyway, what we're going to do now is we're going to switch over to Mod Stu, who's going to give us a quick teaser on Adamant and Rune Dragons, and then I'm going to join him. Okie dokie. So here we are in Brimhaven Dungeon. This is where the first of the new dragons are being added. You've got your iron and steel dragons here. And over here, we have a staircase that up till now has had this grate over it. Not much to do there. I'll tell you what, I'm going to say confirmed here because in about 2012, when this, this area got reworked, I personally made a video and said, there's a staircase there, Addy Dragons confirmed, and it's now there. Yeah, it all fits. <laughs> I mean, that's the Dragonkin symbol right there. There and you go. We're going down and to I had nothing to do with it as well. It just <laughs> happened to be. And so here we go down to a Dragonkin laboratory uh, beneath Brimhead Dungeon, where they manufactured various types of dragons. It's also the home of the Adamant Dragons. See there. There's this uh, mural in the first area here that if you have a charged dragon fire shield, you can burn for some fire making XP. Which reveals a. Looks like a stone of jazz. Yes, indeed. Uh, it's a mural um, depicting the dragonkin. And various dragonkin runes around there. You can also translate that using your dragonkin primer, and that will. Uh, unlock various words in the Dragonkin language. And so there's some, some lore yep. that would be going in there. So yeah. some lore behind the Dragonkin and mm -hmm. the dragons themselves. That's well. right, yeah. Um, in addition to that, there's also a lore book that uh, the Adamant and Dragon can drop, the a journal of the uh, Dragonkin scientist who um, created this laboratory and developed Adamant and Rune Dragons. Dragonkin scientist, that's not a word I've not heard before. Someone new, or um, so this is a character that hasn't been revealed as yet. He's a, a disciple of um, Kerapak. Uh, his na name is uh, 4K. Uh, he was named after um, the sub submitter of the Adamant and, and Dra Dragon Adamant Rune Dragons uh, project on Rune Labs, Dragon Force. Uh, we had to vary it slightly because um, in the Dragonkin language. Uh, they don't tend to use um, soft consonants, so Force doesn't really work. But 4K is is more okay, in, in keeping. Right. And the we didn't want to, one thing we didn't want to do, guys, today is show off too much about the element and rune dragons themselves attacking them. It's more just like the areas and, and where they are. Yep, we but there are, are various uh, sub rooms in, in here. Seven, they're barred by 70, 80, and 90 Slayer. So um, that way you, you can go all the way to the end here if you're hard hit level Slayer and not have to worry about dealing with all of the noobs. It's all good. <laughs> I saw if you were seeing Panic by Dragonfire Shields as well. <laughs> yeah, well, um, the Dragonfire Shields, um, you're going to need it for a, a one-off activity. So in, in the uh, Brimhaven and um, Kethsey areas, each one has a mural that you'll need to burn with a fully charged uh, fire shield in order to get that fire-making XP and that lore. Cool. Um, but yeah, Dragonfire Shields are, the one, are quite, quite useful, but they're 
you get an equal amount of, of use from using your super identifiers. So you have your options available. And then the next area. We're going to go to the surface and travel there, weren't we? So yeah. there was a, we did this a long time ago in a poll, didn't we, about where people would like the Runite Dragons to be housed. Mm -hmm. And Kethsey is one of the places that came out on top by quite a long way. So. Yeah, there's a, a few thematic reasons that this, this makes make sense. Uh, one of them is that one of the main drops of the Rune Dragons is a upgrade component to Glacial Boots. And since Glacials are a reward from um, Ritual of the Majorat, Ritual of the Majorat is a quest requirement. Uh, also, you're accessing a new part of Kethsey via the World Gate, and the World Gate is unlocked via Fate of the Gods, so that's also a requirement. Um, having high quest level quest requirements means that there's less players going there. We can help to um, sustain the value of uh, rune bar drops because um, rune dragons have a guaranteed drop of uh, one rune bar is each time you kill one them. One rune bar, okay. Yeah. And at 80 dragons, two adamant bars each time you kill them. So I imagine what I, well, rune bars will always have a fixed value because of the out price of something you can make it into? Yeah, so that, that's, that's, that's still going to stabilise it, but we, we want to try and make this ex an exclusive area, something that for high level players, the kind of thing that would be like a trash mob for, for max level players or uh, players that are in, in, in a high level, um, something that they can enjoy fighting that's a little more complex, a little more like um, Glacors or Tormented Demons. They, they might have multiple phases to them, they might have some special mechanics, while um, Adamant Dragons are a bit more Mythal Dragons++, plus plus, you know, just okay, more continuation. Okay, just a bit more, more yeah. damage. Will they be Slayer Assignments is a, a yeah. big question. So both of them have Slayer Assignments. Um, you can get Adamant Dragon Slayer Assignments from um, Curidal or Morvan, um, and you can get exclusively um, um, Rune Dragon Slayer assignments from Morvan. Okay, so the uh, Alpha City as well plays in, obviously, requirement yep. for it on assignment. Can you kill them off assignment? The yep, you, you don't, don't require, require a Slayer assignment in order to kill them. Okay, so, so very similar to Myth Dragons, really. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, so you need to go through the World Gate. Uh, we've added a convenient uh, quick dial option here to the World Gate so that you don't have to uh, use these controls here to like do a safe combination every time you want to switch between places you've unlocked. And they'll be adding more areas in there in, in the future. So you can select Kethsey, just jump through the world gate. And there you go. Or if you were doing your Muspar or whatever, you can switch back to that very conveniently to go to Frenesca. And here we are in the Kethsey area, and we have the Rune Dragons. So the one thing we weren't going to do, guys, we weren't going to show off any of the mechanics of the dragon or anything like that. We just wanted to show you the area, but the area looks really cool. Yeah, it's an area that was mentioned in the other part of Kethsey that we know of, um, the Isle of San. Uh, this is, was the... Uh, center of the um, Ketsi civilization is where they originally had the Stone of Jess and this is a pedestal where the Stone of Jess was kept and they, they drew power from it to the point that the Dragonkin eventually came and wiped them out um, from being false users and there's still some trace elements of the magic associated with Stone of Jess you on that pedestal. You can see the, the print of the, uh, you know how that kind of like, is it an octagon is it or is it a hexagon? I'm not sure. But the uh, that kind of the print left there, Yeah, it's quite cool. Mm -hmm. As well as the laboratory of um, Force, the, the, the scientist who um, came here and um, built the, the Rune Dragons. Uh, you, you'll be able to find out um, from the law book why it is that he used Kethsey in particular. But and then so what's down in the middle there? Is that just down into the depths? You can see down there. Uh, yeah, so that, that's um, the remains nice, of the. Nice uh, skybox down. Yeah, of the uh, vol volcano that um, Mount Firework was established on. And various statues of the Kethsey themselves. Um, the player is also gains access via some of the drops to an outfit that uh, resembles Kethsey. Um, should we go over some of the drops? Do we yeah, have time so for that? the one thing we weren't going to do is we weren't going to show you any of the actual mechanics of the boss. However, you've, you've got well, not necessarily a boss, but the monsters, the dragons. Mm -hmm. But you have mentioned that you wanted them to be a high level esque kind of Glacier, Tormented Demon, that kind of a bit more of a challenge. Yeah but like a challenge mixed with a trash mob kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. So it's not particularly complicated, but they do have three phases. Uh, the, the first phase, you will require Dragon Bane ammunition in order to break through the armor, because as you can see, the Ruin Dragons have this rather heavy armor over them. Um, so that's, those are things we've confirmed before with the, the Dragon Bane bolts being useful, haven't we? Yeah, so, um, so um, Dragon Bane bolts or, or arrows, either one will work, but it has to be Dragon Bane. I mean, it, it, it has a, a very high damage resistance to everything else, so you could use something else, but you even with, with max gear, it would be very, very slow. So you're best off getting uh, Dragon Bane ammunition. Uh, anyway, I'm cautious to give away anything else. So there's like a little teaser of the first phase. The, um, everyone's saying kill it. Like, no, <laughs> like, if you would like to kill it, then when it does come out sometime in June, you can go on, obviously, and experience it for yourself. However, the one thing we have mentioned, that Mod Stu mentioned, uh, sorry, 
Mod Rowley mentioned in your absence was the reward, which you've mentioned again here today, which is the attachment to the existing Glacial boots. Yep. Um, so do you want to show what we're going to show them as in-game, their actual sh screen? Sure. So I've got the objects here. Um, they essentially function as toe caps that you attach to the front of the boots. Uh, that, so, as so, such we, so we keep like, the wings on the side kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. Um, so you need, need two of each, but the, the, uh, the drop, drop rate is doubled um, correspondingly. So they're not, not, they're not crazy rare. Um, so we'll just attach a couple of these here to a pair of steadfast boots. And oh, bless me, there apologies. we go. They're degrading items, but they degrade back to glacial boots rather than degrading to dust. So you'll be able to hang on to those for a bit longer. And you've got the, uh, the developer camera. Yeah, let's just see how those look. They kind of got like a rune kind of feel on the front, which is, I guess, how they should be. Yeah. Because uh, they're from uh, the Rune Oak Dragons. This is the first time I've seen any of these as well. <laughs> There's the range ones, so one with the wingtips attached on the front. And, whoops. And then attach some to the... What are the items you're attaching then? The uh, so, see if it was a Steadfast Scale, Glaive and Wingtip, and a Ragefire Gland, just to okay. match up with the names of the original Glacial items. And then that's the magic one. So it has a bit of a magical effect applied over the front of it from the Fire Gland. Fair enough. And there we go. Yep. Um, was there anything else we were going to show? Was that everything we wanted to show? Um, I could certainly show more things. Um, the they well, they hesitant, I hasn't ruined that kind of hide ruined things in terms of the like, spoilers, but I guess is this the dr the bone they drop? Yep. So there's there's a unique bone for each of them. Um, adamant dragon bones are worth slightly more XP than org bones, and rune dragon bones are worth a little bit more than frost dragon bones. Uh, I think it's like forty XP or so more. So it's not it's not big, but it is going to be the, the next best in the slot. And in addition to the rune dragons, there are also elite rune dragons that will occasionally spawn. They have um, better drops and a couple of e exclusive items. One of them is this Ketsi ring. Um, but I think we'll wait until later to find out what that actually does. Anyway, so one thing we're going to do now is we are going to head or send it back over to Mod Kelpu, who said that he's going to carry, carry it while I walk back <laughs> over. So we're going to send it back over there. But thank you very much, Steve, for showing us some mm -hmm. of the uh, Adamant rune dragon stuff. <laughs> really? There you go. <laughs> um, yeah, looking pretty badass, I hope. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. I can't wait to kill him. Well, I have killed him. But yeah, I can't I wait them. to kill them and actually get yeah. sweet loot. Yeah, no, they're pretty cool. Got some nice things to it. There we go. There we go. I'm back in place. Ooh. All right, Adam, Adam at Rune Dragons. I guess we have some questions on it as well, which uh, there's a lot of questions in the chat. Feel free to keep asking questions in the chat as well. Um, we are setting them down. But uh, I had some here, and there's also some, some that have already come through from the chat as well. First one coming up from First Robin saying, are rune dragons instanced? No, they're not. So you'll be able to fight them there along with your friends yep. um, in, that, in that same world. Um, next one coming from Wolf. Are the dragons aggressive? And I'm pretty sure we just saw that, didn't we? Uh, Did I disabled the, the aggression uh, for that, that demonstration, but um, they will attack you if you're not currently um, being attacked by, by another one. So it's kind of, kind of like a single way aggression. So single way aggression. Yeah. So obviously we'll attack you. If you're flying something, another one won't kind of come mm -hmm. over and PJ you or anything. All right, cool. Next one coming from Jellyman01. Will there be a comp cape requirement with this dragon update? I don't honestly recall. I don't think there is. There, is there a music track for the new Arion Castle, I think, or...? The trouble is that most of the stuff happened while I was away on holiday, so I'm, I'm actually not all that caught up on it. I think they did a add a couple of music tracks, and if they're new ones, I think they may have reused the Kethsey one and uh, reworked it, so... Um, Are the murals not a comp requirement? I'll have to check this and get back. I'm pretty mm. sure I didn't do any comp requirements before I left. Okay. Um, other ones going out are, are there will be ABS sign from a Slayer task and which monster, which we obviously already answered. Mm -hmm. Do you want to just quickly blast over that one more time? Yeah, sure. So Adamant and Rune are um, both Slayer tasks from Kirtle and Morvran. Rune Dragons, you can only get assigned by Morvran. Um, more of a suggestion coming from Uriel asking, will Wallazalki Bone, Basilisk Bone and Abyssal Bone Bolt Slash Arrows ever be given more love? Um, currently only Dragon Beam Bolts serve a purpose and they are because it's been mentioned, they are going to serve a purpose for rune dragons. Can we make the other ones more useful for other dragons? I suppose we'd <laughs> have to like that? give high level Wellaskis and things. Maybe, maybe, maybe at some point we should, you know, do a Fremi update. Oh, sounds interesting. Mm. What are you laughing at? Something um, you've seen? No, it's okay. 
<laughs> seen something rude, Just hasn't he? <laughs> uh, Mr. Omer asks, how will the new tier 90 boots degrade? Um, will they consume the Glacial boots and need them to repair? Or is it going to be like a cash value or anything like that? They do not degrade the dust, they will degrade back to Glacial boots. Oh, okay, so the degrade on the actual toe cap or the the gland or yeah. the, the wind. So, so you'll, you'll lose that attachment, you'll need to come back to Rune Dragons again to get a new one, and unless you're um, paying to re repair to keep it maintained. Okay. Um, Buster Bob asks, will we be able to access Rune Dragons immediately on release, or we need to unlock such and complete anything in the Adamant Dragon layer first? They're treated as separate projects, so if you're only interested in Rune Dragons, you can just go straight there if you have the requirements. Okay, and then Foen7 asking, I really like the fact that Addy slash Rune Dragons access was added to the world gate, but do you think the dragon, how does it tie in with the dragons lore wise? You mean in the sense, why are there dragons on, in, on Ketsi? I guess so. Um, like I, was, I said on, on, on the stream, uh, that, that is covered in, in the, the, the lore book, but uh, I'd rather just let you let discover that in game. Yeah, yeah. And uh, those are, I think, all of the dragon questions. Oh, there are a few more here. So, what are the full requirements? I guess that's for rune dragons. Obviously, there's like you mentioned, um, ritual of measure, ritual of rarity, and because of the glacial requirement, you have to uh, you have to complete a ritual of measure to access glacials and get the the glacial boots. And so it'd be silly, really, if you could get the upgrades without having unlocked that. Were there any other requirements on there? And you need fate of the gods, fate for, of the the gods for the gods for the world kit. All right, cool. Uh, other ones are: will the boots be add-ons, or will the boot add-ons be tradable? They will be tradable, yes. So you'll be able to get them and trade them or sell them on the G, for mm -hmm. obviously, to make some money rather than add on to your own boots as yep. well. Cool. Um, can Iron Men do them? I haven't put any Iron Men restrictions in. Maybe I don't see why there wouldn't be. <laughs> they're not. Yeah, they're, they're, reason, yeah, they're supposed to be soloed, aren't they? So yeah. um, I imagine the drops aren't loot shed anyway, so you can't access loot shed anyway. So yeah. Um, RS three one twenty Slayer. How many can we get assigned? Or how many? So what sized assignments? Obviously, Mythal Dragons. Originally, I think they've been boosted since then, but originally it was a very low numbers. Mm -hmm. So is this going to be low numbers as well? Or? Again, I wish I'd done some research before I got, got here, but because um, I did memorize this before I went on holiday. Um, I do know that we're increasing the uh, kill count for Mythal Dragons uh, to make room for, for the ones at, at the lower end, and it, it kind of scales down progressively okay. from, from, from there for Adamant and, and Rune, but I can't remember the exact numbers at, off the top of my head. Um, and then for Adamant, I guess I will ask is, would Moravan assign more than Curadel for Adamant Dragons? Yeah. Okay. Um, Final one from Undead Mum. Will elite rune dragons be single combat or first in, first served? Mechanically, they function exactly like the um, elite um, Edemu in the uh, Malia 115 resource dungeon. So th this the same same kind, kind of locking focus to, to uh, w want one of them, how it handles despawning them after a period of time, um, how they have a bit better drop table than the one that it's based on. And I think that is all for our rune and adamant slash rune dragons questions for now. Um, if you have any more, then feel free to put it in the chat, and if we have time, we will answer it. But uh, thanks very much for showing us the adamant rune dragons, answering the questions. Looks really cool, and I guess you guys can expect it sometime within June. Mm -hmm. um, back to some of the other questions, I guess. We'll just continue on. Soapy7 asks, Will we ever see static spawn rates like in old school RuneScape, where each world respawns resources at a fixed rate rather than, to rather than proportional to the number of players on the world? So the population of the world. Do you okay. to <laughs> um, so what I believe what old school did is they just fixed it at the fastest rate. Whereas what we prefer to do in RS3 is just give you a good rate from the outset and then like the thing that speeds it up is actually a good thing for you guys. So if the base spawn rate is too slow, then you should tell us that this thing, this thing, this thing, that base re respawn is too slow and allow us to just go up. So rather than just say, oh, statically, everything is just the best, we should be saying the base one is one that is comfortable for you and then letting it scale up even more from that. Okay. So if you have some, so no, we're not going to make it static because that scaling up is a good thing for you. Um, and anything that you're finding the respawn rates are too slow for you, let us know, hashtag ninja fix, you know, let us know the things, and then we'll up the base respawn for you. So it should be roughly the same as what old school have in the it's the best, but it'll still scale up. So, so it technically it should so be in better, theory, everything yeah. should be at least the, towards the best or set at a level that's that's good, good for you. If it isn't then, then scales up beyond we can tweak those and let, then let the scaling go above that. Do you have any, just a random question, I'm not sure if you will uh, know it, curveball question. 
Do you know how the scaling <laughs> works? Like, is there like threshold? Is it, does it up at 500, up at 1,000, so up at 1,500 or? I do, only because I looked in the engine, right? So originally, the base respawn that we, get, that we set on, say, MPC configs, because we can override these things, is, is kind of like we set this base respawn, and then from an empty server to a full server, that respawn goes up to half. OK. However, I believe recently. Is that with literally every player? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So with every single player, so it there's no like 500 threshold, then it ticks over. No, it's no, it, it does what's known as interpolation. So it okay, takes it takes half, it takes the the config one, and then it does a nice smooth curve between there. All right, fair enough. Um, but what we did a little while back is we've said right, okay, instead of base being an empty world, base is a thousand. So it actually scales from like 70. It scales from from naught to a thousand players on a server. It actually just goes up to 75 percent. Um, up to, no, it'd be like one and a half what is config, and then after that it'd be two. Okay, fair enough. So the base ones are actually higher by default. Um, but yeah, as far as the original question is going, like we're, we're not going like, to... We're not going to make a static We're not going to make spawn. it static. We should make the base numbers better and then let it scale up, basically. On a case-by-case -case basis for yeah. individual things, monsters, etc. Okay, there you go. there's the answer to that one. Um, Pack one coming in with with the addition of Ali slash Rune Dragons, could we possibly have their masks added to elite treasure trails to continue the dragon mask line? Um, what about celestials as well uh, included in there? That's quite a good one actually. Quite an interesting thing. Yeah, sounds like a treasure trail update, not something that would come up with Animatum Rune Dragons. Yeah, could happen. Ninja. Potentially. Potentially. Yeah. <coughs> if we get someone to do the graphics, we can yeah. plug it in. <laughs> I think we have everything at the minute up to, obviously, you have the, the, uh, the um, green, green, blue, red, and black dragon masks. We then have the bronze, Ooh. iron, and steel. That so would be, be awesome. Cool so oh, we, have the the mithril, we have the mithril as well. I did have the mithril dragon mask. They're, they're suggesting QBD and KBD masks as well. So like, make that an uber rare from elites. That would be cool. Like a, a QBD <laughs> mask would look awesome. It would. You can't we deny it. kind that. of already have it. I believe. I think it was like a rare from Treasure Hunter or was it? Squeal of Fortune beforehand. Right. Need to check. <laughs> yeah, <it's just laughs> I'm sorry. Sigh. I just had a <laughs> sigh from over there. Been the down. <laughs> um, okay, that's well. That's something we potentially. Potentially, have we put anything on the pie pad this week? Uh, no, not yet. No. Oh, no. Do, you want me to do you want me to add it Shilo, to the pie pad? No, only if you think it's worthy. The pie pad. Shilo Village thing. Shilo right. Okay. I'll put, I'll put Shilo in. The Shilo shortcut. Or Shilo. There you go, look, it's been added. So here's something from Iron Rubik. What happened to the new God Wars dungeon mentioned at RuneFest last year? I was at RuneFest last year. I was, I was working at RuneFest last year, but I don't remember, recall uh, the new God Wars dungeon being mentioned. I think it was something that... That's something I would have been excited about. I think it's one of those things that's kind of discussed as a... You, here's some ideas we've got. You, we could... You, tell us what you think about them. Um, this is stuff that we potentially will be making. Um, but yeah, like it's not something that's been forgotten about. I think kind of like because we've been doing raids this year, something like that. It's you. It's a big kind of like PVM type content. You we did raids instead, sort of thing. But it's not been forgotten. We could see it in the near future. That not this year, but maybe 2016, maybe. How would you tie that with the lore? Do you have any ideas for that with the a, a second God Wars? Yeah, it would be an interesting one. I mean, it'll depend on what factions you wanted to focus on, uh, what, what creatures you want to in incorporate. I, I guess we try to work the lore around what the monsters are. Seventh age. That's how we do it. <laughs> Don't even joke. <laughs> yeah. I'm joking. Brassica, God Wars, Dungeon Thieves. This be cabbages. Yeah. Just fighting, yeah. <laughs> fighting cabbages. That sounds pretty terrible, to be fair. All right, um, Sithstress. There's a lot of recent talk about PvP updates in the works. Will you ever turn to Rune Labs for one of these ideas? I believe I promoted a Rune Labs idea not too not too long ago about ranked Elo ladders. They got quite far. They didn't make it to the vote, but it was front page for quite a long time. Yeah, that that one came up a few times in like early yeah. Rune Labs stuff. It's I, I don't think we'll do a PvP criteria for Rune Labs, um, but if we had like a kind of open criteria and something PvP came up, then maybe. But then we do have PvP projects in the works, so I think we kind of discussed this earlier on today, didn't we? We said we can probably say what the first one is, the, the smaller um, of the two planned. Do you, reckon, do you reckon they're ready for it? I don't know. Um, so... I guess I'll say yes. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> definitely, <laughs> definitely. Um, so this is something that hasn't been in the game since Classic. 
Um, those of you who are really old can probably guess what it is. Um, but as a nice kind of low impact thing to add for PVP and to get more people involved in PVP and to kind of like ingrain it a bit more into your day to day PVP, we're going to bring back Jewel Anywhere. So we're going to bring back the ability to just right click someone and click Jewel wherever you are on RuneScape and just go right. Freaking gloves down, just go for it, kill them. And it's going to be safe death, so you know... You just I was going to say, initial questions, is it safe death? Yeah, it's safe death. death. So it's um, more like practice. So it's, it's just so you can practice anywhere. It's to bring a little bit more life back to um, back to RuneScape. You know, it would be quite cool if you're just walking around like and you see people. Liking it. That's yeah, great. definitely. I missed you all in here. I miss <laughs> it so much. I guess, um, like, the, the main thing is, imagine... I'm waiting for my div cache to open, and, you know, both of us have yeah. got nothing on our event, but we're wearing some bows or something. So you, like you, can, you can just... Start, start fighting, start dueling, see who's best. Like we were talking about some possible extensions at a later date. Like, yes. So I'll just say one of them. This isn't happening, guys. By the way, it's originally when we first put out dueling, anyway, it'll just be dueling anyway. It'll just be this. But we were just talking about things like you could say stake a slayer spot, right? Or you know, someone's like get off my tree. So you could say, right, you know what? I'm gonna fight you for this spot. So you fight. And then the guy that loses, like they don't get any XP in a certain radius, so you literally <laughs> go, "This is my Slayer spot, like get out!" <laughs> like it's just the coolest thing. Yeah. Um, so but yeah, like initially, it's literally just going to be right-click jewel anywhere. So no matter where you are, you can just have a friendly jewel, see who's better. You can practice. Um, I'm pretty stoked for it. What sort of time frame are we looking at for this? Then, if it's something you're looking at working on at the moment, uh, already started working on. I've al yeah, I've already started working on it. I mean. I'm kind of tiptoeing on it because obviously, like, the, it's safety checks up the wazoo, so I'm not like I'm not rushing it out. Like, when it's ready, it's ready, but it shouldn't be too quick. I don't want to put a date on it because mm -hmm. obviously, like I said, like this is fighting anywhere. You know, there's a lot of things to put in, a lot of QAing to go through, but it should be relatively soon. Yeah. Cool. There you go. So it'll be quite an, it's quite an exciting one that one. And there was another um, dragons question that came up in the chat. It came in from Slain RS. He said, will Adamant Dragons and Rune Dragons be added to the Rush of Blood, um, so obviously the Rush of Blood kind of minigame, the distraction and diversion? Yeah, um, Adamant Dragons um, will have a chance of swapping out for um, Celestial Dragons on Rush of Blood. Uh, Rune won't though. Rune, okay, so Rune won't feature. So. Um, just a note guys, the staking won't be an option when Jewel Anywhere comes out, it would just be a friendly jewel. Staking is something we very much want to keep in the Jewel Arena, mostly because it's a nice a nice constrained safe area to do any um, risk duels, any any yeah. risk dueling. We wouldn't want you to know to do trust trade dueling or anything. That if you're going to stake, use the jewel arena. It's built. I know it's not always 100% safe. Let's be honest about this. But it's the safest environment for you to duel in. Um, also, someone is talking about Castle Wars cage parthing. And I believe Ooh, one get, of the get ninjas. A couple of questions about this every now yeah. and again. One of the ninjas is currently looking at the Castle Wars Cade Parthing as a mini game update. I definitely saw it on there. Um, Do you currently pathfind round Cades, which is yeah, the problem? Yeah, completely. This is oh, this so that, that ruins Tinder Cading, really, doesn't it? Yeah, completely ruins Cading, unless you completely block it off because you automatically do it. This is a, this, the, way it, the reason why it changed is because there was a very old bug in, in, the, in the routing system in the engine, whereby if you had a blocking NPC, it literally told the player to just stand there for two server cycles, right? So 1.2 seconds, you literally just stand there and go, I don't know what to do. <laughs> um, and then you carried on ca walking around, so that delay made Cading really, really effective. And Obviously, when we fixed that bug, barricading was no longer really effective. So we've got to kind of simulate that bug again. Um, just for that. But it is something we so want to bring back. It's just, yeah. Okay. Just as another another completely random icebreaker, just off the top of your head, I guess. What's the wi weirdest um, like bug you've ever you've ever found in your own work or you used to QA work? Didn't yeah, you? I used to do. I was in the QA team. I think um, can't remember. Maybe it was like the HTML5 stuff or whatnot, but it, oh, we kind of like blew crazy. up all the characters. Like we started up a server one day, and like all the characters were like absolutely massive, <laughs> or like some mode. of them were, <laughs> and like, and you like they they were doing the animations, and like their heads were turning upside down and stuff as they were doing it. So like there was that a was musician, kind of scary. And <laughs> musician in Lumbridge and stuff was like bigger than everyone, bigger than houses, <laughs> and his head was just rotating. You can see it from miles with the drawers. We, were, and we stuff. were making Runespan, one of the Yellow Wizard, got for some reason went really, really massive. So the fact that his, his face was the size of it, but his mouth was like at the level of things. So when he was walking around, a lot of he was Pac-Man <laughs> in the islands. <laughs> it was really awesome. 
Anything you've ever, in, in your work, you've ever... Oh, I don't create bugs. It's always <laughs> flawless. <laughs> yeah. no, the, I, I just, just can't think of a good one at the moment. You're the mod ash of the, uh, of the, of the RuneScape 3 oh, team. <laughs> God ash. Oh. God stew. There we go. We started. We're trying to start. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, we'll carry on with another question. Um, we'll take one from the, um, from the Twitch chat, from Lucas the S. Could multi-game rendering seeing player avatars on different plane levels be added to the game. That would be really awesome. And we do actually have some support for it. We've used it in a few places, but I'm I think there's to think only where, instances. Are there, are there other places where you can see that? I'm trying to think now. Castle um, Wars? I, I'm on the no, wall no, in Castle, Castle Wars, Wars is a trick. Everything's oh, on the floor oh, yeah, on yeah. one level, but it's a really oh, cheeky okay, trick. Okay, fair um, you can see things on that. I, think, I believe it's the Wizard's Tower the first time we did it. It might only be the instance version, version in the quest of the Wizard's Tower where you can see through to other levels, but I don't think you can click to other levels. So what's stopping that happening right now? Is it is it expensive on like the memory or anything like that, or is it just something we It's just logically a bit of a headache. Um, so say you're on the level above and you click on the guy below, are you supposed to automatically path down a ladder to, to like go to them? Like At the moment, the clicks would be completely non-responsive. Um, it was also just some kind of culling we did for basic for just performance increases, but we do have some basic support for it now, and we just haven't used it in a lot of places. Okay, fair. Enough. Screaming at cupcakes, ask any chance of a ninja spotlight uh, or an update on any guilds? Yes. Yes. <laughs> so uh, it is something that in our own brainstorms guilds has come up. Something we'll um, we will be looking at probably. Probably nearish future. Um, I think you, we were originally looking to see if we could spotlight them, but they kind of turned into a bit more larger projects with the stuff that we're wanting to do with it. So, yeah, we'll have to see. But yeah, it's stuff we want to do. So, it's, a it's future. One, like, just in chat, because we can't really straw poll it, there's too many. Um, just in chat, which guild would you most like to see updated? Out of all of the guilds, just which one would you most like to see updated? What would you, what would you, if you could I only have one? What would you personally like to guess, Stu? What would you personally like to see updated as a guild? Uh, it's hard to say because I spend so much time in the Mex Guild nowadays. Um, <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, I, I spend a lot, quite a lot of time at, at the, the Crafting Guild, as I recall. I just like how you called everyone noobs earlier as well. <laughs> I like know, it, it's just like, look at this. <laughs> Stu's not a roll. Stu's trolling the street today, <laughs> dropping these subtle hints. <laughs> hey, what you oh, saying, Mex so? Guild doesn't need an update. Um, I spent quite a lot of time at the Crafting Guild at, at one point, um, like running urns and so forth back back in the day. Maybe that might be a nice one. I honestly have I've not really, really used any other ones. Ranger Guild, I don't think I ever went there other than for a task. <laughs> That's the thing. What like about for your cape? Yeah. There, no, there is no real use for them. There's the not much. They're used really, so. really. Okay, if you go a long way back, people used to train to 99 range on the targets and not get HPXB for it. Yeah. Things like that. Mm -hmm. Legend yeah. seems to be just about winning though. Yeah. From what I can see, I, mean, I, I understand why up. there would be a lot of love for the Legends Guild. Mm -hmm. I remember a long time back, I used to think that the Shadow Warriors, is it Shadow Warriors underneath Shadow the Legends Warriors. Guild? I used to think that they dropped the half left half of a shield, and the left half of a shield was worth eight mil, eight mil back then. I, I, I swear and it was like just it was just a rare drop table drop. An old, an old but old I used to think it was like that's what they those dropped. Those were the best droppers <laughs> of Legends Guild, of like funny. half shields. But yeah, then rubbish. no one really goes down there anymore. There's no reason to ever really go down there anymore. Is no, there used to be uh, used to be good, pretty good combat XP, but uh, I, I remember I used to train there a little bit, and then I learned like the AFKing the f ice warriors <laughs> in the, in the ice where, queen. The, where the queen is because yeah. they all kind of line up to get slaughtered. Or it's the awesome. axe hurt, or the bandit. Or if, was, if I was feeling particularly good, I go to Earth Warriors, but all PK. <laughs> I think we you, we showed the concept for the um, prayer. Yeah, uh, the, monastery. the monastery earlier on, and that's technically the, it's technically prayer, the prayer guild, guild isn't it? Even the though there's guild, yeah. nothing to do there. Um, hey, you can bless your army. <laughs> yeah, is that, and you can get like plus two or something. But um, you know, maybe if we do graphically update that, we'll add a little bit more to the prayer guild. So. And there's one coming. So I guess legends came out from the kind of we saw from the chat. Is that meaningful I th I anyway? Or yeah, I mean, it is. It was, gives us a kind of like priority on what to work on first sort of thing. I think yeah. we, al we already know with our bigger plans what guilds we particularly want to work on first, but yeah. um, you know, it's just interesting where to Legends gauge, fits into that list, you it's you would kind of bump it up a bit more. That's what yeah, people I, th I think it might have of. been moved up a, f a couple of notches mm -hmm. in our internal list just from that. 
So Jack were asked, with tier 90 power gear currently boasting the same defensive stats as tier 85 tank gear and no requirements to wield other than defense, the only gateway into the highest tier is gold. <clears throat> is this a position you're happy with or can we expect to see future armor release with high le or high level, uh, higher level of difficulty to obtain? Okay, so... I guess it has to be non-tradable though, wouldn't it? So. I have spoken to the team responsible for this and I can let out a little spoiler. So spoiler, get ready, get ready the on the GE. Be ready at the GE. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's it's not on my nip. Sorry, we've already had that for today. Um, the DFS. Yeah. <laughs> so tier ninety tank gear is coming from exclusively from raids. Um, it's going to have a pretty sweet set effect because obviously we know people de already de don't think so much about tank um, tank gear compared to power gear, but tier ninety tank gear is coming from raids confirmed. Um, and there's going to be a tradable and non-tradable component like there is with ports. So to get the best tank gear in game, you're not going to be able to buy it. You're going to have to earn it. Fair enough. Got to earn it. I guess earn it from from raids. So that's quite interesting to hear. That's a big. It's quite a big spoiler to be honest. Yeah, I know. I did. I did double check with the with with Team One before I came down here. Uh, the other thing to mention is that hopefully in the next few weeks we'll do something on raids. Maybe have um, some members of the team yeah. down here. Uh, I think they do want to do a stream on it to, yeah. to let out some better spoilers because they only let me have that. I can't say <laughs> anything more than that. Then I'll say, yeah. Um, mention NXT. It's the same every week. We'll let you know when we're Be ready when it's ready. Philip is getting a Twitter account, so he'll post some screenshots soon. Okay, so we've been given an update on NXT. Mod Philip, who is the man you may have seen on the stage at RuneFest. Your boss? He's my boss. He's like the man in charge of the engine. He's he's like God Ash of the engine. Okay, yeah. He's yeah. He's kind of the way he feels to me is Mod Philip is one of those people who like don't ask him anything silly. <laughs> <laughs> Never ask him anything silly. Um, so he, he's going to be getting a Twitter account and will release some images in the near future. So I guess you can keep an eye out for that as well. Um, we're actually running out of time. But I'm going to get through one more question. Which one should I choose? We'll go with this one from Thunderhawk. Do you expect ports to tie in at all with invention considering they're both unlocked with the highest levels of other skills? I believe invention ties in with everything, doesn't it? Technically, um, mainly, yeah. There's there's <laughs> some core skills that it will tie in mainly with. Yeah. So you kind of like, I believe, like crafting. Well, obviously, divination, divination is going to be yeah, one of them. Smithing, because we mentioned yeah. the reworks and stuff. So I imagine that will be in the, the kind of const when you're constructing things, I'm guessing is what's going to be. I don't believe at there's this time. I don't know if you know anything more. I don't think um, the design's still in flux. So I could. Yeah, I mean, like we're not. Yeah, design's not hundred percent confirmed, but I don't believe there's any kind of real tie-in with ports planned at this stage. Um, the final thing I can mention is though that um, Mod Osborne has uh, spoke to me uh, spoke to me this week about doing a live stream on inven invention when it's a bit bit more locked down. The uh, obviously mentioned last week in the leadership Q and A that the the kind of thoughts behind elite skill were kind of that's what they wanted to go for. Now they think mm. that's the right place for invention, and it's more locking it down exactly, and then going to share a bit more information because I guess. Uh, you guys as the community and uh, you know people who, who like to hear about what's happening with RuneScape have ha heard a lot of different things about Invention, so Mod Osborne wanted to come on and um, confirm more things over the upcoming weeks, so you'll hear news on that sometime soon as well. I guess the final thing um, to do is, is wrap up today's stream, so I guess thank you Mod Stew especially for the Adamant of Rune Dragons teaser and uh, showcase today. You guys get slightly less of a thank you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I, oh, I, was, I was dishing out spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, yeah. Shame yeah. on you, Mod Kelby. Uh. <laughs> Nothing came from you. <laughs> <laughs> the players are sat there like, we got stood at the G, like, Mod Kelpie gave us nothing today. Uh, yeah. anyway, th <laughs> thank you, anyway. And right. the final thing to do is plug the community stream, which will be happening at 8 pm game time this evening. Myself and Mod Simon will be doing it, and we're going to be doing some custom clues, which will be interesting, some custom map clues and stuff and giving out a, uh, a month's membership to a few players if they uh, are the first person to figure out some of the custom clues. Um, the final thing is if you missed this, uh, if you're missing the teasers, be sure to check out this video on YouTube. Uh, it'll be uploaded sometime this evening after the stream. I guess that's it for, for everything. You're not gonna throw a cushion at someone? No. No, no. not today. I missed thanks last to, week. Big thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> Make sure you get your questions in for next week, and uh, we'll see you then. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>